Welcome to Looking Within, a podcast to help you quiet your mind, settle your body, and see God's presence in your everyday life. I'm Julie. I hope our time together will help you to feel more grounded, whole, and filled with a growing desire to be a conduit of God's love and presence to the world around you. Now, let's begin. Today is Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the season of Lent. We began our Lenten series on Monday, entitled, Imagining a New Life and a New Story. Lent is a good time for us to pause and take stock of our spiritual journey. One way to do this is to consider our story. We may question, I don't have any special story. What are you talking about? But every time you say things like, I'm bored with all this social isolation, I'm anxious for my family, or I'm scared, there is a story behind these comments. We all have a story, and how we frame our story is influenced by our friends and by our culture. Our stories sound a lot alike. We may tell stories of being a victim of life or being entitled to better from life, Or we could tell a different story. During the season of Lent, we are following Jesus' story, looking closely at the practices that brought him into a new story and a new life. This week, as we all struggle with the isolation of COVID-19, we ponder silence and solitude as a means of transformation into a new life and a new story. On Monday, we talked about Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a Lutheran pastor who spent two years in a Nazi German prison. The silence and solitude gave him a new story and a new life. And today, we focus on Jesus. How often we see him turn to silence and solitude as a place of renewal, rest, and a new story and a new life. There are many stories of Jesus entering into silence and solitude when when the disciples return from a brief internship where they practiced what Jesus did, but without Jesus with them. He said, come away with me to a lonely place. Each morning before others got up, Jesus went off by himself to pray. But maybe the most important story for us in this regard is the temptation in the wilderness Here, Jesus begins to be defined to tell a new story and to lead a new life. The story is familiar and often appears in our public worship, the first Sunday of Lent. Right after Jesus is baptized, as he begins his ministry, the, the Spirit drives him into the isolation of the desert. For 40 days, he fasts and experiences silence and solitude. Satan comes to him at the end of this time, tempts him with food and with an easy path to accomplish his work of loving the world. We struggle with social distancing and solitude of COVID-19. But notice Jesus in his story. What good things silence and solitude do for us? Alone, away from the chatter of the world, Jesus can pay attention to the inner conversation. When we don't pay attention to this inner turmoil, it comes out sideways. We may become angry with others. We we blow up at them for little or no reason, surprising them and, and us as well. But maybe they aren't really the cause of our anger. We don't recognize that until we get away from the noise of our daily lives and learn what's really eating us. Jesus hears the voice of Satan. In January, we talked about the story of two wolves that wrestle inside of us all, the bad wolf who lives in fear and scarcity, and the good wolf who lives in love and abundance, who lives in Christ. In silence and solitude, we hear the voice of fear and scarcity. If this is the only voice we hear, our time away from the the distractions of other people can be very distressful. 
it is the horrible punishment of solitary confinement. It can actually break us. But Jesus does not go alone into the wilderness. He hears the voice of fear and scarcity, but he holds on to that other voice of love and abundance. He quotes scripture. This is significant. He shows us something that we all can do in our time of silence and solitude. When we hear that troubling voice of fear and anxiety, we too can bring with us the voice of God in Bible passages, hymns and songs, and yes, our own stories where we remember God's faithfulness. Silence and solitude can be very challenging to our mental health. We see this all around us today. The early church, in the voices of the desert mothers and fathers, those who went off into the desert for years of silence and solitude, warn us, do not go alone into the wilderness. We must take this to heart, listening very carefully to their words. So in these very challenging times, we must follow Jesus' example. Do not go alone. Bring God with you into these moments. Bring God's word. Sing hymns and songs. Remember your story of God's faithfulness in your life. Keep a gratitude journal. And the list goes on and on of all the things you and I can do to continue to hear God's comforting voice. You and I can also be there for others. And as you comfort them with God's good news, you also comfort yourself. Use this time of silence and solitude not to bemoan your situation, but to draw closer and closer to Jesus, the one who loves and promises to be with you in all seasons of life. Practice the presence of Jesus in these unsettling moments of wilderness. Let's think about this during our quiet moments together. In this quiet space and time, I'd invite you to gently close your eyes and to take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. Hear the sound of the bowl calling you to look within. Let it center you. Let it awaken you to God's presence. As you quiet your mind down, entering the silence, see Jesus with you. Consciously take God with you into your silence. Make it a clear decision. Note what that is like that you might take it back to your daily life. What does Jesus say to you? How does he look at you? How do you feel with Jesus near? Let this memory of Jesus with you in the silence become a clear and strong memory. We'll be back with you in about two minutes.
take one more minute to deeply breathe in the memory of Jesus sitting with you in silence. Return to this image of love as often as you need during the day when your heart is afraid. I'd invite you now to take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. Hear the bowl sound calling you back to this day. Gently open your eyes, remaining still for a moment longer. This Lenten season, we consider the opportunity that Jesus gives us to have a new life and a new story. We are invited to follow Jesus' example of how we frame the events and circumstances of our lives. This week, we're looking at the challenge of the isolation we experience in COVID-19. Our friends and our culture may see nothing good in this, but following Jesus, we see the opportunity silence and solitude gives us to hear the voice of scarcity and, and fear, but also to hear Christ's voice of love and abundance. We have the opportunity to feed that good wolf and learn to tell a new story and to live a new life. On Friday, we'll lead you in a guided meditation. It's sometimes difficult to sit in silence. It feels like nothing is happening and is a total waste of time. But through a calming and guided experience, we'd like to allow you to practice the healing power of Jesus' presence, not just in silence, but in your whole life. Join us as often as you can on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays during the weeks of Lent. We'll hope to see you again on Friday. Thank you for making time for your inner self today for developing and enriching your relationship with God through reflection and discovery. Whatever you've experienced, carry that with you in the coming days. You can find more episodes at our website, gloria-day, that's D-E-I dot com slash looking within podcast, or subscribe through your favorite podcast app. If you know someone who might enjoy and benefit from this podcast, share it with them. Your financial contributions make this ministry possible. To give, visit gloria-day.com slash giving. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time 